they need to um, it needs to be an illness that's treatable. Okay. Okay. Check. Okay. Um, criteria. I'm trying to do this without looking at the form. <laughs> <laughs> um, there needs to be either a risk of harm to themselves, a risk of harm to others, but there does like even beyond that, you don't need to be a risk of harm to anybody, but you can mm -hmm. simply be at risk of deteriorating in your mental yes. health or your physical health. Okay. Check. Yeah, yeah, um, and it needs box, to be yeah. that they won't stay voluntarily. Right. So if somebody is unwell, but they're like, well, yeah. I want to be here, then you wouldn't certify them because why would you? Yeah. Um, and, you know, Rob and I've even spoken about cases before where you'll have people sometimes come in who have addictions, who want help, who will say, can you please certify me? Like, yeah. I need yeah. to do this. I want help. But I'm telling you, in 12 hours or in three hours, Not I'm out chance. the door. Yeah. Like, yeah, can right. you please yeah. stop me? That yes. um, lucidity, right? The iron's hot. You gotta, yeah. got to grab but it. But so right? again, like, I feel like within the system, that to me is a huge demonstration of horrendous stigma because it's like, what do you mean we don't do that here? It's like, it's a mental health act. It, they satisfy most, criteria. Yeah. What are you, like, I don't care that, like, what your personal stigma. opinion is. Right. If they check yeah. the boxes, then why are we not doing this? No kidding. Um, no kidding. That, that is yep. crazy, but that's an argument. I, I agree with that. I, I think, you know, as, as Lisa spoke about, it, it is that it's a treatable disorder, but there's also got to be the part that the disorder is, is being, the individual is being held in a program that can treat the disorder. Okay. So, yes. um, you know, we can't hold someone with, with suffering from schizophrenia uh, on an OBGYN unit with no psychiatrist providing treatment. Um, okay. So... That's one of the problems that we have is most of our psychiatric units in, in Alberta have no one working there that has any expertise or knowledge about treating addiction.